we, I will not let him leave me. We hope that what you're about to see and hear is of interest and sometimes entertaining to all of you this. We intend this to be the story of our marriage with a brief account of how we arrived at that day, August 20th, 1950. Our apologies to each of you if our story is not as inclusive of events and joys you brought into our lives. Perhaps those stories will be yours. Hopefully, within the next five years, we can produce another video that will, in depth, give the listener a great feeling of our spirituality and how each of you have enhanced it. Now, a house on 25 Second Avenue as it looked in its original date, where many of you have enjoyed times and fun with Grandpa Flowers and broken windows from playing ball. We hope that this will be part of your memory. And here we have Grandpa Flowers as a child and his parents. Probably difficult for any of you to think of him as having been a child because most of you knew him as an older man. And Grandma Raffier, my maternal grandmother, and you can see the likeness. And my grandfather said that I always reminded him. And here he is, Grandpa, Raphael, and you can see David. And this is uh, Ada and Etzel Flowers uh, when the day they were married. You can see a bit of Lynn in, in Ada's eyes. And uh, here are uh, Alice and Ed Mogan, my parents, and Albert Raphael, who was my mother's brother, and, and he is on her right. And here is my great grandmother and her. Uh, her son, my grandfather's brother. Uncle Harry, who was your father's real mentor and our dear friend during the time that we were planning our wedding in 1950. And the famous wheel of carriage that Al's grandfather took him for many walks in. And here we are with Al and the earphones. You've seen this picture many times, but it needed to be here. And Uncle June and Al, when they were children, what a delightful little couple they make. And here is Al in his cowboy outfit. He learned to think about going west, young man, someday. And now we know that he was graduated from high school in 1939. And this is his picture of Al when he went into the service. What a dashing young man he was. And there are some of his medals. And Jackie, when she was a toddler with those chubby cheeks that you probably never thought she had. And Jackie at about nine or 10 with Aunt Edith on a picnic out in the country. And Jackie, when she was graduated from high school in 1944, with her eyes closed. And then that next summer as she had a job before she went away to school. And this grandpa wanted in because he likes this picture, and particularly he thought, I had good legs. I don't know about his sense of humor. And up there uh, on the left, you just missed me, was my graduation picture from St. Luke's. There I am, third row from the top. And that same picture was the picture that was used in the paper when we announced our engagement and looks like you can read what it says there. It identifies who we are and when we're going to be married. And here we are coming out the door of the church the day that was so important in our lives and in yours hopefully too. And as we're going down the steps, I apologize for the fuzziness of some of the pictures but realize they're 50 years old. And here we have my mother to my right and my brother Roger behind me and to my left, Ada, uh, Al's mother and Al and Grandpa Flowers, as everyone seemed to be very happy. And we were. This was a great day. And here we are making the first slice of the cake that's traditional. Al and Jackie and Roger keeping an eye on everybody there. And this one I wanted to put in because it's the only time I ever looked like a movie star, <laughs> in my opinion, as I'm cutting the pieces of the cake. 
Carol and Emily, they were our attendants and so cute and full of life. And we were delighted to have them there. And my brother Dwayne, at age 14 at our wedding, and of course you all know he died an untimely death in an automobile accident at age 30. And Grandpa Flowers carrying the jugs of wine because we were going to have a wine punch. Uh, and this is a picture of Swift Water Inn where we stayed the first few days of our honeymoon. And we drove down there. And then we went to Pennsylvania and visited with Peter Shell. And those two cut quite a, an appearance at the beach. You all remember Uncle Peter, Vincent, Alice, and Joey's dad. And this is to prove we were in Ohio on our way to Phoenix. We stopped various places and took pictures along the way. And this is to prove we were in Kansas on that Route 66. And here we are in uh, about to cross the Mississippi when we had car problems. And this is in either Oklahoma or New Mexico. And Al wanted me to sit up on that piece of equipment, and I did. Now we get to a picture of our first house and our first Christmas, our first Christmas tree. And this was the present Al bought for me, and it's a little kitty we called Boots. And there's a story to that that I'll tell you all sometime. And here is a picture taken the next summer back east with Nanny Alice and Grandpa Walt, and Emily's there in the center, and Roger and Catherine, and that was taken the summer of 1951. And here we are having a baby shower because I was expecting David. And that's uh, Aunt Carol right there. And then right to her right is Catherine. And that's a cousin of mine and Aunt Edith. And then here I am about to pick some gifts out of a big basket. And this is just a week before David was born. As you can see, I was very pregnant and very happy. And here we are with the proof of that pregnancy, David, when he was just uh, a few days old after we brought him home from the hospital. And here we have David and Mom and Dad when he was a few weeks old. And this is our second Christmas, and that's David and Michael Cantor. And if you can see, we put the Christmas tree in the playpen to protect it from these two climbing children. And here's Nanny Alice with David. And David, again, about 10 months, standing in a chair, no less. But we kept an eye on him. And this is David with Dad, uh, just relaxing. And you can see how proud Dad is. This is David at his first birthday with a doggie he really liked. And then we have here is Lynn. And this was a picture for our 1953 a Christmas card, and she was just a few months old. And here's Lynn, about f old, 10 months old, sitting up with those chubby cheeks, and here she is a little later with David, with her mouth open, <laughs> always with her mouth open. We kid her about that to this day. And this picture was taken the Easter of 1955 over at the Vienna Kitchen. I hope you do remember that. Vienna Kitchen. And here's another picture taken about the same time over at the Vienna Kitchen. And I was pregnant for Alan at that point. That was the summer of 1955. And this was a picnic late in the summer, and I was obviously more pregnant uh, in 1955. And we have two brothers and sisters there playing the food on their face. And here is Alan when he was just uh, a, few, a few days old, and here he is about a month and a half old, out sunning in the grass, but not for long, because this was October. And Lynn and David, uh, probably getting close to uh, Christmas time or maybe Easter the next year, I'm not sure. And here we are with th the three of them. And uh, we've laughed about this picture because I think that David looks so discontent because Alan had dirty pants. <laughs> and here David's trying to feed his little brother or maybe take his food away or tease, I'm not sure which, but they certainly seem interested. And here's 
Nanny Dorota, and you remember how important she was to each of you, was she'd come visit us on Monday after she went and had her hair done, and we'd walk down to the bus to greet her. And here we, is, here we are at Alan's first birthday. Can you see that candle in the center? And at a picnic time, when Alan was very little, and you can see Alan a canter and some others, and oh, here is a trip to Prescott. Alan was sleeping, but the rest of us were on that bulldozer. And you children will have to tell the others about this famous bulldozer. And one time, Alan even fell asleep on it. This is when we had Squirrelly Gulch. And Grandpa used to come to visit in the spring of the year after tax season. And so this must have been about Easter time. And here is a picture that I enjoy so much with all five of us sitting in the backyard uh, on, at 4019 East Montecito. And this is a picture that was taken when Al was about to change jobs and go to Scottsdale. And not many, two, not many of them looked very happy except Father. I think they were, and then this was the Christmas of 1956 the picture that we use for our Christmas cards. And here we are that following spring, I believe, and uh, I'm not sure where that picture was taken. And little brother and big sister playing. And this was in the summer of 66, I believe, or, six, yeah, or 67, perhaps. We were back east at Aunt Edith's house waiting for David and Alt to come and you can see Aunt Edith there in the back, and, and look how young I look there, and Alan and Lynn, and Uncle Ted has his back to us. And there's Alan trying to survey something, I'm not quite sure, but he was always an inquisitive one. And then the three darlings all dressed up, maybe to go to church, I'm not quite sure when this was taken. And here's the motley looking crew in Prescott. Alan, of course, is the little one in the front, and that's Jim Ackerman and Barbara Fogg and David and Lynn and Michael Cantor. We had great times up there with Vacuum Cleaner, our cat, and Brill Cream, the Blue Jay, that they would watch out the window. Lots of good memories. And this must have been the next spring when Grandpa was there that year. And how about that hat David's wearing? I don't think we've gotten him to wear a hat since then. And oh. This was, these were the rocks that they loved. They loved to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches up there. And it's the same group. And this was Mrs. Rao, who uh, came here from India as an exchange visitor and uh, worked at one of the schools. And she dearly loved Alan and David and Lynn and was so impressed with having a family that when she went home, uh, she got pregnant and had a daughter of her own. And of course, our beloved Bert, and you know, all the kids for a long time called him Hi Bert, because that's what Lynn would yell. And this was the following Christmas, and I think this was a pose picture. How could you guess it? But we always like to have something to send back to everyone. And it's another picture in Prescott with Nan, dear Danny Bartels and Bill. And you remember how important they were in our lives. And uh, they loved going to Prescott with us and we missed them dearly when they were gone. And here's Nanny, Alice, with David. Uh, they're enjoying something that's fun. And a trip to California one summer. And I don't know why we were so dressed up, but you can see Alan and, and, and David there. And this was Alan's fourth birthday as we were getting ready to go over to the park. And Sally Miller, who's now married and has five children and lives over the coast. They were great friends. And this is a birthday party for David. I don't recall whether it was his eighth or ninth birthday, but we loved having birthday parties and fixing food and having all the kids. And this was another Christmas picture, I think in 58 or 59. And uh, here you can see the greeting on that. And uh, couldn't quite read. And then here is another summer picture in California, uh, they loved going there, and we would go there to visit Bud and Marge and go to the beach. And this was Easter of probably 59, um, taken in the backyard, all dressed up 
in their Sunday duds. And here's another spring or Christmas picture, Easter picture, with David with his eyes closed. And here's Alan having a snack and with his wide, eyes wide open. And here we were dressed to get onto the, tr well, actually, this was in Chicago when we had a layover going to New York on the train. Can you imagine those days dressing like that? And at the beach over in California, Al is helping them to build a sand castle or dig to China. I'm not quite sure which. Lynn's, Lynn's the one with the bathing cap on. And here we have our first idea of an entrepreneur. Lynn's about ready to go out and sell Girl Scout cookies. And this was the first day of school, kindergarten for Alan, second grade for Lynn. And this was that year in Halloween. And if you guess that Lynn's the one on the right, you are incorrect. She's the one in the middle, and that's Alan uh, with the witches. And of course, David is the ghost. And this was a picture taken in 62 uh, to announce that uh, Al was going to take the job as business manager of the Scottsdale School District. Imagine a top administrator with a salary of 14500 And then this was a picture taken, I think, when he went to the community college district a few years later. And you can see everybody else seems a little more smiley then. And Alan as a Cub Scout, without his uniform on, I'm not sure why, but he, and, and that's Steve Albert, who was his friend with the glasses on, his next door neighbor, and Vince Vaccaro. You see, Alan did have a uniform, and David was seemingly kind of proud of him, maybe pinching him, I don't know which. This was a famous camping trip we went on to Holly Lake, and uh, uh, we cooked outside, and they went fishing, and asked David about getting a Z-ray caught in his eyebrow. And here they are getting out of the boat after the boys had gone fishing, and Lynn looking disappointed because she hadn't been. Here's Lynn in her uniform for ban, and this was taken probably the year before we moved up to 4030 East Elm. And at that same year, she was a junior bridesmaid in, in Pam Ross's wedding, and that was a delightful affair. And here we have a birthday party for David. Uh, I think it was his 13th birthday. I think he was in eighth grade. And, uh, and here they are, loaded on a wagon, about to take a trek through the desert. It looked like great fun. And probably, and, and this is the Girl Scout troop we had uh, once they moved up from Brownies. And that's Jackie up there on, the, the, on your right with the sunglasses on. And I'm looking to see, I'm not sure which one is Lynn. She's probably behind somebody. And here is Lynn and David and Alan with Grandpa and, and Dad uh, getting all ready to go out to dinner or lunch. I'm not sure which. This is one of the first pictures taken when we moved to 4030 East Elm. And we moved there in September, so this was probably that fall. And uh, you can see the high waters. Those must have been the second year of David's pants. <laughs> and this picture was taken, I believe, in 68, and it was in the paper when they hoisted a flagpole in the front lawn of what now is Alan and Betsy's house. And there is that flagpole, and there are many of stories about that occasion, which you can ask David, Lynn, and Alan, about Mr. Hogan and his involvement, and that's Mr. Hogan far to your left, your right. And uh, the whole neighborhood got involved. And this is a picture taken the next year or so uh, when uh, the two boys are all dressed up. Weren't they handsome? Still are. And another one about that same era. But David got rid of his coat. And Al and Jackie must have been going somewhere but I'm not sure where. We used to get dressed up for many occasions. And here's Carol Hoagland and Bert and Jackie and Mary Jane Bluesy's back of her head at a dinner party or luncheon or something at the house. And that's John Hoagland on your right and Mary Jane and Mary Jane's mother. Uh, they were frequent visitors at our house. And oh, now it's 1970. And that's David and Ken Stultz all dressed up with their mortarboards and and Kent without his and David with the cowboy hat and Lynn got in this picture with the cowboy hat and David on his graduation from 
And here's another picture taken uh, maybe the, that same year, I'm not sure. It could be out of sequence. And this is a picture just to give you some idea of the trees were, and this picture I know was taken in 73 in the fall. Lynn was a freshman in college then and was home. And you see how Alan is almost taller than his father now. And this was the time we went to Hawaii, and that's Al standing in front of a school, and I was taken by the beach. And here Lynn was graduated in 1971, and that's Astrid, a, a foreign exchange student from Norway. And Alan was graduated in 1973 with his mortarboard and blonde hair, and here he is with Nanny Alice, who was so proud of him. And we got our smooching in. It was probably our thrill to have all of our children out of high school and starting college. And this was that year was 1973, and Cookie and David were married at Brophy Chapel. And you can see that they were all dressed up in their finery. And uh, it was a delightful day. And you will see the bride and the groom in a few minutes as they're about to have their traditional cut of the cake. And look at the smiles. And here they are about ready to leave the wedding party and begin their life together. Now we get back to Lynn and her friend uh, Maureen went in, at Colorado Women's College in the winter. You can see the snow. And here we have Travis at a few days old, born in 1974. And this is at his baptism at Brophy Chapel again, and everybody is certainly pleased by this great occasion. And here is Travis, and actually he's sitting on Alan's shoulders, his godfather, and Joe Kushibab and Al, who were great friends for many, many years, and we had many joyous occasions. And then that Christmas, uh, with the Christmas tree behind her, and I think that's part of David, and there's David and Cookie, and, and see I cut off, not the head, but the face of Travis. Sorry, Travis. And this was that same Christmas, and Al and Lynn, and Alan and Lynn Sanitti, who was a friend of his from high school. And we're back to Colorado Women's College, and it was Parents Weekend, and that's Lynn with Lou Johnson, very good friends. And here she is with Hal Johnson and Jackie, on that same weekend. And Al, that fall, went back east to visit his father and my mother, and that's Uncle June behind Al, hugging Nanny Alice, and then Aunt Carolyn and Emily. And here we are with the Cotton Burkers, Wally and Ann, who've been good friends for many years. And you're back to that Christmas again. Now this time you get to see all of Travis. And that spring, Travis and I would go bike riding, and I'd fit them in, and here is David and, Al and Travis, there I go again, uh, going to cut the grass. The flowers man at work, and that skinny fellow with the blonde hair in the middle is Alan. And this is Easter time, and I don't know if David's helping Travis find an egg or whether he's gonna push him in the fish pond. <laughs> and this was graduation in 1974 for Lynn from CWC, and that year Al and I were up there, and this is out at Colorado Springs where we stopped to have dinner one day. Wrong. And another picture of graduation day, and that's Mark and Hal Johnson with Al and Lynn. And we had lunch at the Broadmoor, which is quite the place, and it's comparable to our Biltmore. And here again is a picture of Al back east, and that's Stephanie and Suzanne in the front with Grandpa Flowers and Uncle Al. And that must have been about, oh, I can't recall. This was 1975, and we were back east, and they had a party for our 25th wedding anniversary. 25 years ago with Grandpa, Al, uh, Grandpa Flowers and Nanny Alice. And that's a close-up of the two of us. How different we looked. At least I looked so different. And here we are the next Christmas, which would have been the Christmas of 75, and Alan got a new uh, down vest that he's trying to model for us. And later that day, Grandma gave Travis a bath, and there he is with the reflection in the mirror. 
And around New Year's, we had a party, or a little after the first of the year, and that's Joe Kushabab and Bert and Mary Jane, and here's David with Joe. And my brother and uh, Carol and uh, Catherine and all of them were visiting, and that's the three siblings, Carol and Roger and Jackie. I have my eyes closed as usual. And that spring, Alan and Travis working on a project, I'm not sure what it is, at 4030, and a picnic on the desert uh, out in uh, Santan with the Johnsons, and that's Jackie with her back to you, and Al and Hal Johnson facing, sitting in the director's chair. And that's Travis. He went with us, and he learned how to dig a latrine in the desert. It was great fun to have him along. And another picture of Al and Uncle June and Emily um, visit back east. And Zoe Trent, you all probably remember Zoe, and she was the mother of the two boys that went to school with David. And here's another Christmas, and uh, again that same Christmas, and Travis must have been about two. And Lynn, that Christmas, and again out when we had property in Cave Creek, the Johnsons were visiting and we took them out there, and here's Al and Jackie by a cactus. And Al's washing the car with Travis's b bossing. Lynn and I were about ready to move her down to Phoenix, and we had packed her car, and we laughed about all the activity. And here, once we got home, uh, we had a, a picnic at David's. And this is not a very clear picture. Oh, that's better. That's at a, a restaurant in um, uh, Guadalajara when we made a trip there with Hal and Louise Johnson and that same restaurant, and the next one we'll see Bud and Marge. Good friends, and you know Bud and Marge if you don't remember the Johnsons. And here we are, I think we were in San Miguel when we took that picture. I look, and oh, another Halloween. Alan and uh, Steve, and I think Brian, I'm not sure which. And here's Travis that next Christmas, and we loved Christmas, and that was the Christmas of 77. And this was a gift from Lynn, and she can tell you a fun story about the delivery. And here we have uh, Travis with Auntie Lynn, uh, full of smiles. And we had gone to Anaheim, and this is a picture with an old friend, uh, Ed Stancic. I look like I'm half asleep. And this is at Yosemite. We made a trip up there that next year. And that fall, when Nanny Alice came to visit, the and that was the fall of 78, and that was when Travis was taught to whistle by his great-grandmother. And that was that same Christmas, and, uh, and here Nanny is with Lynn, and you can see Nanny is getting weary, and uh, with Cookie, and here she is with Alan, and so delighted to be there with all of us, but she was not very well. And this, Al and his shoes, we used to laugh because he'd line them up after he polished them with the, with the bottom of his sock to get that sheen, have them all ready, and let them air. And here's Nanny, the spring of 79. We took her to lunch out at the, um, out in Scottsdale somewhere. And then that's Carol and Jackie and Nanny and, and Al out at, uh, in Scottsdale at one of those western restaurants. And this is Travis's fourth birthday, and Nanny was still here for his fourth birthday in April. And uh, I'm not sure where we were then, but we were out somewhere. And this picture is a picture of when, after Kelly was born, and that's that little baby there. And this was a picture taken at uh, the Cantor's when they had a little outside picnic. And that, that same Thanksgiving, we went to New York, and that was Alan and Roger and Al, and that was the Thanksgiving. Uh, and then this was, I believe, Christmas time that year, and that's Kelly with Norma Sarah and, and Cookie, and then here is Al. And Lynn with her mouth open like her father, and there's little Kelly baby with her grandpa, and here she is with Uncle Al and uh, Aunt Travis. And the cook is cooking food and enjoying it, and Travis is helping to decorate the tree. And here we are in 19, 
I can't remember, I think 80, and uh, out at the breaking grounds for Scottsdale community. And, uh, and Al giving an address to the people and telling about all the great plans. And that's Marty Quinn up there in the back with the sunglasses on. And here's Alan all dressed up to go somewhere. And, and here's Al with uh, Bill Orr, and that was taken in New Orleans, and the Cahills, um, uh, Al and Claire Cahill. And this was taken uh, the next year with Kelly, and this is Christmas time, and Kelly was uh, about 15 months old, 16 months old. And that was, must have been taken before, can you see, she doesn't have as much hair as in the previous one. And I, don't, I think those are Alan's lovely fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know we were going to get those in, did you? And here, and I think that's because they went on this picnic and borrowed our van and we said, but you cannot take the dog. And they brought pictures home and there was the dog. Uh, so apparently they cleaned it out good. And the famous music group and uh, Alan and David is there and I don't know who the other one is, but uh, they're seeming to have a good time. Didn't they look young? And that's Cookie that same summer, and uh, next to her was uh, Farmer, and then that's David. And here's Kelly Bells. And this is Christmas time, and that's a doll I made for her. And Kelly with the doll I made for her for Christmas that year. And she was just so pleased. And here she is with Grandma, who was also very pleased have this darling little girl, and I don't know whose eyes those are. And here we have a picture of David and Al and Lynn and Kelly and Cookie, and then here is Alan and Travis, and all at Christmas time, and, and Grandma in the corner. And another picture of Christmas. We loved Christmas, and this was the year Grandpa got that hat, and still has it. And you can see the delight of all of them as they watched him put on this hat. And I don't know what that gift is that's so funny for David. And this was in Northern California the next winter when we were up visiting Bud and Marge. And here they are also. It was rainy weather and you can see Al has that famous hat on and you can still see him wearing it 20 years later. And he looks rather smug and Jackie looks happy too. I don't know where we were then, but probably in Northern California because here we are again, still there. And this is a picture of Al and Jackie. And this is little Molly. And these are our very dear friends, Marcella and Steve Sierra. And you know how important they were in our lives and such dear friends. And Paul Pierre, Pear, whom you have seen in recent years and who is, of course, considerably older. And this was when Al Travis made his first communion. And that's Molly and Lynn and Kelly and Travis uh, at Grandma's house trying to smoke a pipe with no tobacco, of course, but looking very Oxford-like in his pajamas. And here we are skating. Uh, out at Scottsdale, and some of the rest of us were there too, but we were just to see Al and Kelly. You didn't know that Grandpa Al roller skated. And this again was in, Cal or in Hawaii, and uh, got my shades on. And here's Molly first discovering a lace handkerchief at a soccer game. And the whole family back east. I th oh, this was when Carol got married to Oscar in 1974. We were all there, and it was such a happy occasion. And these were two dolls I had made for Kelly, Kelly and Molly. They were pa cabbage patch dolls made from scratch. And here is Lynn with our good dear friend Norma. And this was Emily's 50th birthday. We went back east, and there's Aunt Edith on the same occasion. And. Uh, this was some place we were with Alan and Betsy, and I'm not sure exactly where that was, but we all seemed to be very happy. And here's Molly, just so little, probably at a soccer game or a baseball game. And Lynn, Christmas time again, with that big smile, and, and Alan and Jackie, we were at David's house that year. And this was at Alan's when he and Betsy had that place in Tempe with Dan Farmer 
and Jim Farmer. And uh, we'll have to see that Jim gets a copy of this picture. And here are Alan and Jackie with Amy Jallo, who's our godchild, who now is married and a mother, and Grandpa Flowers. And uh, as you can see, he's getting older as this picture was taken um, in about 83, 84. And here is um, Molly or Kelly, I'm not sure which. And this, in the winter of 1981, they were all there and we had this picnic and the fellows were playing ball out on our front lawn. And we were so thrilled to have them there. And uh, that's Patrick and Roger and Al being amused by someone and Stephanie over there. And these are our two, three astronauts. Did we catch or we'll lose one? And Lynn in her cowgirl outfit. And this is Molly and Grandma ready to take a trip to New York. And that was in 86. And here she is with Aunt Edith. And then she t fell asleep and Uncle Ted was I'm sure she didn't fall off. That next summer, Betsy and, Lynn and Cookie. And here we have Al and Travis at the, looking at the train planes and Kelly with her medallion. And here we have Uncle June and Molly at a soccer game. And here we have another picture of Uncle June and Travis and the children. And Aunt Edith and Jackie and, and Lynn. We went love visiting Aunt Edith and here's Jackie and Lynn on a trip to New York and to Pennsylvania. And that next year, Emily came to visit us and here she is with Al. It was such a pleasant time. And this was the anniversary for the pair's 70, 65th. And we took them to dinner after having a reception in our house. And here we are with Grandma and Kyle. And Kyle was just a few hours old. And then that winter, we went to a wedding with Stephanie. And this is a stained glass window at the church in Punkaki and says in the memory of Tammany. And Jackie at that church with a grade school friend and at that time, we see Al and Oscar and Lynn and Al. And here is Kyle. And then Kelly and Grandma are about to leave to go to DC, or to go to Thanksgiving back east. And she's showing them how to eat um, olives. Mm -hmm. And that Christmas time, father and son asleep. And there's Mary with Kyle, Mary Fernandez. And uh, they seem to be, and here, that next Easter, we have a ball game going. and. And here's Brad looking for eggs. Now we see Cookie and Michael and Kyle with Mandy. Mandy and Kelly and David. Oh, and there's Al at the beach in Hawaii. And uh, Kyle, Travis and Alan. <laughs> and Alan and Betsy at a party before their wedding. And that's Anne. And Travis getting help from Al, and here is the wedding picture of all of us. And the bride and groom look radiant. And Kelly Meyer and Uncle Roger, and Lynn and Michael at the uh, party after the wedding. And Uncle Roger and Danny, and Emily and Roger, and Emily and Kyle, all these after Alan's wedding. And Dad at his birthday, showing us he could still get into his army uniform. And Alan and Travis having some fun with a gift for them, I think it probably is. And here is Stephanie at her wedding. And Aunt Edith and Uncle Ted. And having fun with food. Molly, what did you put them? And Grandpa and Kelly uh, and Brad, about to blow out the candles on his birthday cake. I think it was his ninth birthday. And David at Christmas time, and Travis looks very pensive. And Kelly, or Betsy looks as if she's going to hide eggs. And this is on Mother's Day. And now we have Christmas with Kyle and Lynn and Kyle at Christmas time as well. And Molly and Jackie and, I mean, <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> I've got a burnt house, yes. <laughs> that was in 90, 1990. And, uh, Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> and Molly up for Molly, oh. And Kyle inspecting the house, the new house in Prescott as he's coming down the stairs. And his grandfather's doing the same thing, checking on the construction. And here we are in Hawaii 
Al and Jackie and Oscar and Carol somewhere to be found. And that's at Stephanie's wedding, Emily and Al with his mouth open again. <laughs> I don't know, Lynn. And Alan and others in the wedding party. And you can see a little bit of Stephanie and her wedding. A big smooch. And there are Alan and Betsy with Alice at the breakfast the next day. And we're in Northern California again with Bud and Marge and their friends and Al's putting up the tree, or trying to. And here's Kyle looking at Christmas presents and the new house in Prescott in Highland Pines looks a lot better than that rubble from the fire, doesn't it? How about that? We've had many good occasions and this was David's birthday that year in Prescott. and. Travis's 18th birthday down at uh, Arizona Center, and then he was graduated from high school very soon after that, and then Lynn was graduated from uh, law school, and, and here are some more family members who went to that occasion, and Lynn and Mike, hooray, and we're out shopping for bridal outfits for Lynn, and Kyle's asleep on the floor, and I'm taking pictures. He was a little trooper that day, and so was Lynn. And here we have the wedding. Lynn and Michael, all smiles, and Lynn and Dad, this picture should have preceded the other, but you know. And here Lynn and the two girls uh, walking over there at the park, and Brad and was there somewhere. And Kyle was helping me put up the tree that day, and he kind of enjoyed this little, and here Molly, in her outfit that she wanted so badly um, from White Christmas. And Betsy and Kelly, with, and Al and Jackie went to Europe, and here we are in Scotland. Ireland. Ireland. And that was Scotland. And here I am uh, with the Baba Black Sheep and a cafe, a sidewalk cafe in Paris. We, and the Eiffel Tower, how about that? Ireland. We haven't gotten there. And this is Molly's 10th or 11th birthday at Uno. And Brad and Michael out on the boat in San Diego. Two big smiles. And here we are back east again, the two sisters and some of the rest of the family down in Fishkill with Al. What a happy occasion. And these are some of them that live in Chicago now and the soccer team in Prescott. And we went up two years in a row and had great fun. And they're lovely young women who are all high school or college juniors or seniors and, tra and Kyle with Vincent's two boys at the zoo and you can see the baseball player and grandpa it's a homer it's a homer and here's uncle Roger with another, the, homer. another homer another homer and um, I'm not sure oh we were at Yos no not Yosemite we were someplace else <laughs> and a picture of the two sisters again and Kyle wanted to know if he could have an outfit that looked like a Power Ranger. And uh, Michael with uh, Paul Pear just a couple years ago at Easter time, we had a great visit. And this is uh, my birthday time and those rotten kids, look what they did. Now you know why? I have no idea why they had those signs on. Look at that. And uh, by the end of it all, I was pretty tired. <laughs> joke and grandpa was pretty happy and here we have Kelly excited about something and I'm not sure what day that was and uh, I think this was a start in Easter you can see about the get ready get set go and Kyle showing that he's quite a skateboarder and Kyle and David in Washington DC and we went there a couple of years ago in the summertime had a great trip and here they are on one of the battlefields, and David had to walk every battlefield that they ever wrote about in the Civil War. But we loved it. And I think they're in Annapolis with, that's the water behind them, but ask them. And this was during the time of the Han Kachina, and here the whole family who were very supportive, and it was a great occasion, and had never gotten there without all their help. And this was Christmas time, and that famous tide that went round and round. 
and Molly looks pretty happy at that Christmas time as well. Oh, that was the day they came over to help us put up the tree, and we had such a good time. And here we are at Christmas, and that's Anne and Lynn and Michael at our house, another Christmas. And Alan, I don't know whose glasses they are, but they sure don't look like his. And uh, Richter, UB Richter, and Lynn, and Al, and I think that was about two years ago at Christmas, or maybe last Christmas, I'm not sure. And Jackie opening something, and you can see we always have such a good time at Christmas, and especially with our serendipities. And there's Lynn and, and Emily, and I think that was when Emily visited us last, and this was last Christmas, and, and he hugged Brad for his family's involvement in my coat. And this is Alan cutting up, and the three guys, Alan, and Al, and Travis. And this was probably this past Easter outside, ready for an Easter egg hunt. And here we are at lunch. And this is Kelly. What are you doing, Kelly? And Molly looks like she just got a taste of something she really didn't like. And Cookie is thinking, where did I get those? Yeah. Oh, I know, they're making fun of that shirt. I've never seen David that less conservative. And here's Don and Lynn and Travis. And uh, that was Easter time. And uh, this is Al and, these are Al and Jackie and uh, oh, we were in Mexico and here's another picture of us in Mexico just uh, about four months ago and we went with Bud and Mike. And this was in Mexico, our wedding a treasure. And now you can see here we are 50 years later. This picture, we don't look any different, but if you look around, you can see we have changed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. We've had wonderful years together with more to come. Look 
Thank you.